Hello everybody, Richard Tromans here from Artificial Lawyer TV. Uh, today we're going to do a walkthrough followed by a discussion about a great uh, access to justice company called Upsol, which is trying to help people in the US with bankruptcy problems. Uh, with us to talk us through and also to have a discussion afterwards is Rohan, who is the co-founder and CEO. And you're, you're in Brooklyn, I understand. That's right. Thank you so much for having me, Richard. Yeah, uh, real pleasure. And you know, as you know, Artificial Lawyer is a big supporter of access to justice and particularly um, you know, making use of tech to try and help where tech can can help. Let's just briefly have a walk through. If you so this is our um, homepage and uh, uh, one of the things that we actually just launched recently that we really like as a technology product is we're allowed to capture uh, reviews of our users um, in the product itself and display those user reviews in real time. Uh, so you can see here, um, somebody comes to our website they see a bunch of reviews um, and oftentimes just from a few hours ago or a few days ago. And uh, that's part of the social proof that we believe strongly in. Um, so far, Absolve has relieved over $250 million in debt for our users. Uh, that's all within the last two and a half years since we launched nationally. So that's a milestone we're proud of. Um, and basically the way Absolve works is uh, somebody comes to our website and they take a screener to see if they're a good fit for our service. We limit who can use Upsolve to uh, people who are low income um, and who have simple cases. They don't own assets. Uh, they don't um, uh, or they don't own a home. They don't own expensive assets. Um, so they take this screener, and then eventually uh, uh, we make sure we help people with over ten thousand dollars in debt. Um, so when you have sort of the social proof while they're taking the screener, um, because oftentimes it's really important to build trust over the internet. Uh, so we explain who funds us. Um, we explain some of uh, the media attention that we've gotten to build that trust. Um, and then uh, eventually somebody will qualify for Upsolve after they answer about 10 questions and they'll come to our app. Um, so this is our app and it's a lot like TurboTax or any uh, guided uh, document assembly tool that you've seen in the past where people will take a questionnaire. This questionnaire lasts about uh, uh, 90 minutes and people will answer um, questions about what they earn, spend, own, and owe. Um, and then that uh, information will populate their forms. They'll upload their tax returns. They'll take a credit counseling course that's required by the bankruptcy court. And then uh, our software will attach the tax returns, the credit counseling course, and the bankruptcy forms that are completed, and we'll give it to the user. The user will then uh, file those um, forms with the court. They'll come back to Upsolve. They'll take another online course that the court requires. They'll also get instructions for where to mail their forms, and then they'll attend what's called a 341 meeting, which is the meeting between them and the court official who oversees their case. And then they're, they'll be finished with their, with their bankruptcy. So the whole process um, from beginning to filing takes about three hours. And then after filing takes um, about um, a couple of hours of work on the user's end. But that's the immense value proposition of bankruptcy for a few hours of work. Somebody who's in tens of thousands of dollars in debt can wipe their slate clean and get back on their feet. Another thing that we um, recently uh, uh, put together was um, in a Facebook group. So we have now over 3,000 people. We launched this a couple of months ago um, for uh, people to um, talk amongst themselves and share their experiences and support each other as they're going through Upsolve. Um, so that's something that we um, feels really important for something that's so stigmatized as bankruptcy and that requires uh, a lot of um, uh, confidence and that ha most people are very scared of. Uh, so that's the general overview. Um, you can see our uh, questionnaire here itself, which represents the bulk of our product. Um, and uh, we do have a learning center that people can access throughout the course of uh, filing bankruptcy, which has uh, hundreds of high quality articles about different parts of uh, bankruptcy. Um, and we also have in-context um, help cards as people are going through the process. We think in-context education is really important. 
Um, but this is the, the product and of course it probably doesn't look a whole lot different from other guided document assembly tools that generate forms that people can file. Um, some of the things that we're particularly proud of uh, in this is that we've tried to incorporate a lot of behavioral psychology into um, Upsolve. Uh, so we talk about the value of Upsolve and what we provide for free. And we also, for example, tell people to write, I will do my best to finish this interview in five days, which we found actually improves completion rates because when people write down their plan um, and commit to doing something, they're much more likely to do it. Uh, so we also have a lot of these animations throughout um, the, the questionnaire itself to just make the product and something as scary as bankruptcy a little bit more friendly and uh, uh, doable for people who are under immense amount of uh, stress. Um, so that's the overview of the, uh, the questionnaire. Um, and one other thing I just wanted to talk about was how much we believe strongly in content. Upsolve is a product um, nonprofit, but also uh, we believe we're an education nonprofit. Uh, there are uh, uh, hundreds of articles on our website about different areas of bankruptcy. In fact, thousands of articles. And that's the main way people learn about us. I mean, if you go to uh, Google and you type in um, how to file bankruptcy, um, Upsolve is the first hit. Um, and this is how the vast majority of people on the internet um, find out about Upsolve and learn about how to use our, our tool. Um, and we believe that if you don't have distribution, um, your product can be great, but uh, people won't learn about it, or know about it. So that's why we believe so strongly in um, producing uh, high quality content and spending a lot of time on it. So hopefully that's a great uh, overview. And Richard, if there's anything in particular that struck your attention, happy to go into it. Yeah, well, let, let's stay with this, with screen share and I'll, I'll pop a couple of questions to you. So um, obviously not a US expert on bankruptcy. So is that all there is to it? You, you, That's deliver right. data, you, you send your tax docs, you do these various things to meet the regulatory uh, barriers and then you just ping it over and that's it, you're done. That, that's right. I mean, after you submit your forms, you do have the brief meeting with somebody called your trustee which is the person who oversees your case. Um, this is about a five to 10 minute meeting where the trustee asks you basic questions about what's in your forms. Uh, their job is to make sure that you're telling the truth, but also if you do have assets that are expensive, to seize those assets to pay the creditors. Uh, the vast majority of people who are filing for chapter seven bankruptcy, 95% of people do not have uh, assets that can be seized because they just are filing bankruptcy because they have um, a very little wealth and, and income. So uh, it is a very simple process. Um, I mean, it's a, of course complicated to go through this 90 minute questionnaire and answer questions about everything you earn, spend and own and owe. But um, in general, yes, I think that most people find who use Upsolve and who file bankruptcy in general, how surprisingly simple the process is. And who, who you, this may be a very obvious question, who, who are you sending all this information to? So this information goes to the user, who then files it with the bankruptcy court in, in America. Uh, yeah. There, there. I mean, and, and in I don't exactly know how this particularly works in America. So for, for each state, there'll be a, a, a particular bankruptcy court. It's actually federal court, um, a federal but yeah, court. there there are these physical courthouses in um, most major cities in America uh, that people are able to um, file where, where people are able to file their forms. And obviously an absolutely critical point. And, and in some cases, it isn't always obvious. I mean, although I guess in this case, you've proven it in that um, does a bankruptcy court accept all of this digital evidence? Or do they say, that's very, 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 very nice. Could you come back in six months uh, with all the papers? <laughs> we don't accept this. So uh, um, I mean, important well, question, um, because uh, actually the, until um, before COVID, I uh, the bankruptcy courts, if you are filing on your own, so without a lawyer, you had to file paper version of the forms um, or you had to mail the paper version of the forms. Um, but after COVID uh, happened, uh, most bankruptcy courts in America, or many of them changed their rules to allow self-represented individuals to file their forms 
uh, digitally um, by either email or by um, a secure online Dropbox. On, on the other hand, if you're represented by a lawyer, you must um, file your forms electronically. Um, so this was a, uh, a double standard that existed within the federal bankruptcy court system where uh, the court system discriminated against people who couldn't afford lawyers by making them file by paper. Uh, and fortunately, that's changed um, uh, in most courts or many courts. Uh, but Upsolve also allows you to download the forms by, by paper because the output of Upsolve in the end of the day is a PDF. So you cannot, of course, download the PDF, print it out, and file those forms. And that's actually what um, all Upsolve users did before COVID. Um, the 341 meeting, you yes. said meeting. Now, obviously that used to be physical, presumably yes. in the past. You, you, I mean, you had to it, arrange it used to be that. Physical. You used to show up with your trustee and have this one-on-one -on -one meeting. Uh, fortunately, now these have been moved to Zoom and to phone. So that's actually another step that I'm really um, glad to see has happened with the bankruptcy system. And I hope it's actually a permanent step.